jaundice because of high levels of bilirubin in the blood there will be yellowish discoloration of the skin sclera and mucous membrane which results in a condition called jaundice it can manifest as a single disease or sign of an underlying condition and this bilirubin is a by product of red blood cell breakdown let's now understand how bilirubin is formed and processed in our body this is called bilirubin metabolism our red blood cells have a lifespan of about 120 days when they get old or damaged they are broken down in the spleen liver and bone marrow during this breakdown hemoglobin the protein that carries oxygen is released hemoglobin is split into two parts globin which is broken down into amino acids heme which is converted into a green pigment called biliverdin and then into a yellow pigment called unconjugated bilirubin this form of bilirubin is not water soluble meaning it can't dissolve in the blood down its own to move through the blood stream unconjugated bilirubin binds to a protein called albumin this albumin bilirubin complex travels into liver when the unconjugated bilirubin reaches the liver the liver cells called hepatocytes take it up an important enzyme in the liver called udp gluconeogenesis transferase converts this unconjugated bilirubin into conjugated bilirubin these steps make it water soluble so the body can now easily get rid of it the conjugated bilirubin is then secreted into bile which is stored in the gall bladder or released directly into the small intestine in the intestine bacteria act on conjugated bilirubin and convert it into urobilinogen some urobilinogen is reabsorbed into the blood stream the kidneys then filter it out as a urobilin giving urine its yellow color the remaining urobilinogen is converted into stercobilin and excreted in feces giving stool its brown color if any of these steps inside or out of liver is not properly formed and bilirubin level increases it results in jaundice types of jaundice there are mainly three types of jaundice prehepatic or hemolytic jaundice causes excess rbc breakdown or hemolysis example hemolytic anemia second one hepatic or hepatocellular jaundice because of liver disease hepatitis and cirrhosis are examples then post hepatic or obstructive jaundice cause blockage in bile flow examples gallstones and tumors another type is neonatal jaundice it can be physiological in newborns signs and symptoms yellow skin and eyes dark colored urine pale stools itching or pruritus fatigue abdomen pain nausea and vomiting diagnostic criteria first and foremost history and physical examination laboratory test include serum bilirubin total and direct liver function test lft cbc then imaging techniques like usg ct mri and if needed liver biopsy the preventive aspects include vaccination for hepatitis a and b avoid alcohol abuse safe blood transfusions maintain hygiene to avoid infection early treatment of gallstones and liver disease now let's move on to how jaundice is treated remember jaundice itself is not a disease it's a sign of an underlying condition so the main goal of treatment is to find and treat the cause of jaundice and in case of prehepatic jaundice meaning excessive breakdown of rbc the focus is on treating the underlying blood disorder for example in malaria we give anti malarial medication in sickle cell disease or thalassemia supportive treatment sometimes blood transfusion in case of hepatic jaundice meaning the liver itself is disease the treatment targets the liver condition for example in viral hepatitis antiviral drugs rest proper nutrition and avoiding alcohol in alcoholic liver disease complete abstinence from alcohol and supportive care and in case of autoimmune hepatitis immunosuppressive drugs such as steroids may be used in case of post hepatic hepatitis if the cause is post hepatitic that means there is a blockage in the bile duct the blockage must be removed 
This may include surgery to remove gallstones, endoscopic procedures like ERCP to clear the bile ducts, then treating tumors if a cancer is causing the blockage. And finally, neonatal jaundice. In newborns, babies with jaundice, most cases of physiological jaundice resolve on their own. If bilirubin levels are high, we use phototherapy. That's a special blue light that helps breakdown of bilirubin in the skin. In very severe cases, an exchange transfusion may be needed to quickly lower bilirubin levels. And also, in all cases, supportive care is important. This includes maintaining good hydration, avoiding substances that can further harm the liver like alcohol and certain drugs, and ensuring proper nutrition. If treatment is not done properly, it will result into complications such as chronic liver disease, liver failure, kidney failure, coagulopathy and brain damage carnicterous in neonates.